Welcome back everybody, my name's Tim, this is another Real Ideal Gear Review, and today we're looking at my favorite watches for a specific set of styles of watches that I have. And we're going to go through things like the Pilot Watch, Field Watch, Chronograph, Sport Watch, Dive Watch, Vintage Watch, Quartz Watch, and the Sports Watch is going to cover the Dress Watch at the same time. Um, although I have another Dress Watch, I should probably pull that out too, but maybe I'll hit pause during the middle of this and go grab it and bring it in. I, there's, there's a Dress Watch I just, I think is outstanding. So anyway... Um, Let's get started. Let's start off with chronograph. I have two chronographs and the reason I have two chronographs is I want to show you that there are chronographs out there that kind of look like the typical chronographs. You have the subdials and, and that, but you can get some really interesting uh, designs, not just with the subdials, but with the case, with the movement, um, just kind of press the, press the boundaries a little bit as far as what kind of chronograph you're going after. But let's start off with something that I just absolutely love, which is Art Deco. And this is the Pierre Pauline vintage chronograph, 1970s, I think is what they call it. This is the reverse panda uh, uh, dial and ST1901 movement. So you've got that manual wind, just beautiful movement on the back. It has a display case back, as you can see. And that's one of the few times I really am interested in getting a display case back is when you have a very interesting movement like this or like the, you know, the pilot watch right here has the manual wind. This is the Rudland turbine pilot. On the back side, you get to see the manual wind movement, which I think is way more fascinating than, look, than looking at a Seiko NH35. But anyway, this watch, um, just beautiful. You have the stepped bezel up to the crystal. You have polish on the top. You have brushing on the side of the case. And uh, it just does an outstanding job of getting some retro look to it. It's a smaller dial, so this is kind of a compact watch. So when it comes down to kind of a dressy occasion, absolutely you can wear this as a dressy watch. I think this one, you could pull this off with formal wear because it's black and white and it's got polish on it and it's smaller. I think this watch is absolutely a formal watch. So you can cover a lot of ground with this. Could you wear this as an everyday watch? Yeah, it's a sapphire crystal, stainless steel case. I'd be kind of cautious about the pushers out here. Everyday watch, I'm not so sure about that, especially if they're not screw down pushers, which these are not um, but just be careful of, of the pushers I guess when you're wearing this but fantastic chronograph now let's push the boundaries a little bit on the chronograph and go after something that's a little bit more unusual same ST1901 movement but this design is called the bullhead design and for those of you that are familiar with this will know that this is actually an homage of a Seiko watch a Seiko bullhead and a very interesting design but what really gets me is the case design when you look at this case design you'll see that the 12 o'clock side sits higher on the wrist than the six o'clock side. I just think that's kind of cool. I think the bull head pushers uh, and, the, and the crown being at the 12 o'clock uh, at the top of the watch is another cool thing about this watch. Look at the dial, you know, the color of the Fume dial piece. You got some darkening off on the edges there. You've got great contrast on the sub dials for the six o'clock and the 12 o'clock, the time totaler and the running seconds. Um, beautiful watch, a lot of polish on there. And does this fit for a lot of occasions? Absolutely. It's probably getting on the little big side for formal watches, but semi-formal, professional, everyday watch. I'd be very cautious about this because where the pushers are, this is on the outside of the wrist. No matter what wrist you wear it on, it's going to be on the outside and it runs the risk of really bumping into a lot of things and damaging the pushers and or the crown. So I'd be cautious about that. But great AliExpress watch, the Pierre Pauline, the Red Star, both on AliExpress. Very, very affordable watches. Now, what about a pilot watch? This is my favorite pilot watch, probably. Kind of just that vintage Flieger look to it. I love this. Manual wind, display case back, sapphire crystal, 50 meters of water resistance, great leather strap. 1B is the Nota Sector Pilot Blackbird. This is an incredible watch. Sapphire crystal, 100 meters of water resistance, screw down crown, great bracelet. I mean, this bracelet has some really, I think, interesting link design to it, right? It has an adjustable uh, clasp 
So the clasp you can adjust on the fly, the pushers on the inside of the uh, clasp itself. Okay, milled scissors on the on the clasp, excellent. Um, solid case back. But then when you look at the dial, okay, so this is where the rubber meets the road for me. Sector dial, so you get that kind of crosshair effect. You get those sections, that sector look in the middle of the dial there, which is the whole notice line is all about sector dial, sector pilot, sector field, sector uh, sport, all those. The sector diver. Um, bi-directional friction bezel timing bezel up here which I like it I'm actually I'm okay with frictional friction bezels this one doesn't move around very easily it's not hard to move but at the same time it has enough friction for just about every situation where the bezel kind of bumps into something it pretty much stays in this in the same spot but then it also has a day date complication so you get the day of the week and the date and <laughs> Green second hand. There you go. A little color, a little splash of color on the dial. Great looking watch. Highly recommend it. Now let's go to the sport watch. And this is the sport watch that also I think crosses over into the dress category almost instantly. And that is the second hour mandala. This is a limited edition. This is the earlier edition of the gray dial or the darker uh, dial with uh, gilt hands, gilt hour markers. Uh, great movement. It's a high beat Miyota movement. Bracelet on this mesmerizing in my opinion you've got a high polished bezel around here that's that goes up to the crown sapphire crystal 100 meters of water resistance screw down crown it almost has kind of this sport dive watch dressy thing all going together without the timing bezel at the top okay but then when you look at the dial the dial is phenomenal it's broken up into three sections you have your 12 o'clock your four o'clock and eight o'clock sections you can see that by the hour markers then you've got a bunch of cool things going on in the center part of the dial you have the uh, handset that is just gold gilted i mean I, there's just so much about this watch love it for a sport watch outstanding purchase all right i think that's a great it's a great buy for what it is now let's go to a dive watch and you're not going to get by with a dive watch without talking probably about this company, especially micro, micro brands, which is Zelos, the Hammerhead Bronze Frost Edition. Great, great watch. Now take a look at the, the patina on this watch. This is what a, a bronze watch starts to look like after about six months, actually more than that, close to a year uh, of just being exposed to the elements, you know, being worn. I wear this to work. Um, I do get a little copper oxide, some of that like you know uh, teal uh, blue green oxide sometimes it comes out a little bit um, but it washes right off so you just got to be careful about that I would not wear this with a white shirt or anything light colored especially if you're gonna be sweating a lot um, you may get some of that on there but I think overall uh, it's just it's it's a joy to wear 300 meters of water resistance sapphire crystal incredible loom you have a frost dial which means this is a full loom dial with a blackout handset so it's super easy to read during the daytime and during the illuminated um, low light no light conditions the bezel is also illuminated which is awesome and it's a really good strap it's a heavy watch it's a bronze watch and bronze is about 10 percent heavier than stainless steel so keep that in mind i love the angles of the case as well now if we go to a field watch this field watch is my favorite field watch design which is the kingsbury ms4 regiment and the kingsbury ms4 regiment is it's got the sector dial thing going on and it's a field watch. I love the field watch design. I have a, a bunch of field watches uh, in my collection and this is one that stands out the top. Seiko movement, great crown, screw down crown, 100 meters of water resistance, waxed leather strap, which I love waxed leather straps. I think they're just so vintage looking and awesome. Along with the sector dial, look at the second hand. You get a yellow second hand, extremely legible dial, awesome loom. Sapphire crystal, 100 meters water resistance, like you just, it's hard to beat that watch. Now, what about vintage? I've only got one vintage watch because buying vintage watches makes me extremely nervous. And I don't want to deal with watch movements that are 60, 70 years old, 50 years old, 30 years old, because it's just, just a hassle. So I did find one. And I like this one because it reminded me of a watch my dad used to wear. It's not the exact watch, but it just reminded me of a watch my dad used to wear with that expandable bracelet that goes around. It's spring-loaded, which I, I like the idea of it. It's not for me. It pulls the hair on my arm. I don't like it at all. So I, when I bought the watch, I took that off right away, put on a waxed leather strap, and I love it. This is a manual wind Caravel 1976. It's a 30, I believe it's a 34 millimeter or a 36 millimeter case. I'll put that in the video down below here so you see that. Uh, manual wind movement keeps really good time. 
and I'm impressed. So the dial on this watch has a vertical pattern to it, kind of a linen look to it, um, which I absolutely love. It has these kind of almost almost gold looking uh, hour markers that are on there. And then of course, if you look at the second hand, it's an orange second hand. And so you get this little splash of color in there. And then you've got the waxed leather that just really goes, I think, along with the dial. And Caravel, which is a subsidiary of Bulova, um, they were, this company was made to do these kinds of watches. Kind of an every guy, everyday watch out there that guys, can, guys and gals can wear. When I bought it, the only thing I've done to this is I took Poly Watch to the crystal, took out a bunch of little minor scratches in that, and it looks really, really good, really cleared up a lot of a lot of time on there now last watch is going to be one of the best quartz watches out there for the money it's a chronograph as well but it's a quartz watch and it is the Baltany vintage military chronograph um, this is the type a if you know there's the type b pilot watch which is the you have the minutes on the outside this one has the hours on the outside which i prefer that it's just I'm old school. I'm I'm an old dog. I don't want to learn new tricks, right? But 100 meters of water resistance, screw down crown, screw down pushers for the chronograph. You've got the running seconds at the bottom. You've got a 60 minute time totaler at the top. Uh, very legible dial. You guys can see all this. Excellent loom, all night loom, grab and go accuracy. It's a very accurate quartz watch, by the way. Great strap. You know, it's a military style, NATO style strap, which which is it's good. I like it. It fits the aesthetic of the whole watch. Bead blasted case, sapphire crystal. This is a work watch. I wear this to work in the summertime a lot. I wear probably a dozen watches and I go between them every other day or every three days maybe. Um, and I wear this watch a lot. It's such an easy watch to wear and look at. And then of course the, <laughs> if you didn't notice, take a look at the second hand for the chronograph on the end is a red arrow tip, which just, I mean, a little bit of red, a little bit of color in there and it just brightens the whole thing up. I love it. So there you go. Those are my favorite watches on there. I know there's in episode one, you saw a bunch of other watches that were, my favorites according to manufacturer or large manufacturing company styles, I guess. So this is the style watches and I'm trying to show a bunch of watches that just give you ideas and things you may not have thought of or other watches you may not have seen before. So check these out. Um, I will try to have links for these in the description of the video so that you can at least get to the company, if not the watch itself. Some of these watches are sold out. I'm sorry about that, but that's just the way it goes. So check out my online store, realidealgear.com, and on that store you'll see some watches like Casio, some dive watches. You'll even see a limited edition Zelos on there for sale. So check out the online store. Also, I'm going to be having a couple more episodes coming in after this. Check out the episode before this. My name is Tim. This has been another Real Ideal Gear Review. We'll catch you next time.